Hello wonderful people, it's Metacosis Perfectionatus. Welcome back to my physics playlist. In previous videos, we talked about how to read graphs in physics, how to find the slope and the meaning of the slope. Then we talked about measuring units. We talked about scalars versus vectors, distance versus displacement, speed versus velocity, mass versus weight. We talked about acceleration. We talked about work. We talked about torque. We talked about force, we talked about pressure, we talked about mechanical advantage, we talked about thermal physics and thermodynamics, we talked about oscillatory motion, we talked about wave motion and the type of waves, mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves, sound waves and light waves. Today, we'll talk about a very important topic, which is dimensional formula, or how to turn almost any measuring unit in physics into MLT units. The M stands for mass, L for length, and T for time. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. This is my physics playlist. Please watch these videos in order for maximum understanding and retention. Remember that physical measurements include physical quantities like mass, length, and time, the tools that we use to measure those quantities, and the measuring units. For example, mass is measured in kilograms, length is measured in meters, and time is measured in seconds. And this is what we mean by MLT, mass, length, time. MLT, mass, length, time. Do you remember the seven standard international base units of matter? They are length, measured in meters, time in seconds, temperature in kelvins, mass in kilograms, amount of substance in moles. Pay attention because in chemistry, mass is measured in grams because we're working in the lab with chemical samples. But in physics, the standard unit for mass is kilogram, not gram. The magnitude of the electric current in ampere and the light intensity is in candela. Now let's turn everything into MLT units. But first, let's practice some math. If x equals y times z, and the dimensions of x are MLT power negative 2, and the dimensions of y are m raised to the power of 0, l times t raised to the negative second power, then the dimensions of z equals what? Please pause the video and try to solve this yourself. Well, let's rearrange this equation. If x equals y times z, then z equals what? Divide each side of the equation by y to get x divided by y. And x is measured in units of m times l times t raised to the negative second power and y is measured in m power zero which is basically one so you can remove it multiplied by l multiplied by t power negative two then we cancel t power negative two with t power negative two cancel the l with the l and your end result is just m so z is measured in m so only m matters, which means everything else is raised to a power of zero because anything power zero is one. So it's m times one times one or m. So the correct answer here is choice D. Now let's start with the first example. How do we convert the units of length into MLT? Can you pause the video and tell me? Well, length is L, so it's just L. It's L power one you do not have to write an exponent of one. So you can write it like this, or you can write it like this, m power zero, l power one, t power zero. Let's do something else. Let's do radius. Well, how do you convert the measuring units of radius into MLT? Well, the radius is a length, right? Yeah, so it's measured in meters. It's just length, so it's just l, just like length. So radius and length have the same units. They have the same dimensional formula. Let's try something else. Let's try displacement. Well, displacement and distance are the same. They are a length after all. So therefore, the dimensional formula is just L. So length, radius, displacement, and distance have the same dimensional formula of L. Next, let's try another one. How about mass? Well, the dimensional formula for mass is just m. That's it. Let's try something else. How about time? The dimensional formula for time is t. How about periodic time? Well, periodic time is just another time, so it too has a formula of t. Next, surface area. What is surface area? Surface area is length multiplied by width. 
such as the surface area of a rectangle. The dimensional formula for length is L. The dimensional formula for width is also L. So the end result is L squared. Next, volume. This is length times width times height. Dimensional formula for length is L for width, also L for height, also L. L times L times L is L cubed. Density. Please pause the video and try to answer this yourself. What is density? Density is mass over volume. What is the dimensional formula for mass? It is just M. And for volume, volume is length times width times height. So it is L cubed, giving us the final result of M times L power negative 3 as the final answer. Speed. What is speed? Speed is distance divided by time. Distance has a dimensional formula of L. Time is t, so the final answer is L t power negative 1. How about velocity? Velocity is displacement over time. Displacement has a dimensional formula of L. And time is t, so the final answer is L t power negative 1 which is the same answer as for speed. So speed and velocity have the same dimensional formula. You know what else has the same dimensional formula? All the types of velocity, such as average velocity, instantaneous velocity, or any kind of velocity. How about acceleration? Well, acceleration equals what? Acceleration equals velocity over time. And velocity is what? Velocity is displacement over time. So this looks like this. It is displacement divide by time squared. The dimensional formula for displacement is L and for t squared is t squared. So the final answer is L t power negative 2. Here is another question. How about acceleration caused by gravity, which is abbreviated g? Well, this is just another acceleration. So it has the same dimensional formula of L t power negative 2. Momentum. Pause the video and try to do it yourself. Momentum is what? Momentum is basically the mass of the object multiplied by its velocity. And the mass has a dimensional formula of uppercase M. Velocity is basically displacement over time. So this is L divided by T. Multiply them together, you give M L divided by T, which equals M L T power negative 1. May the force be with you. Remember Newton's second law, F equals ma. Dimensional unit for m is uppercase m. Acceleration is what? It is velocity over time. Velocity is what? Velocity is displacement over time over time. So this is length divided by t squared. Multiply them together, you get ml divided by t squared. And the final answer is mlt power negative 2. Recall that the measuring unit of force is Newton. But how about weight? Well, the measuring unit of weight is also the Newton. So therefore, the dimensional formula for weight is the same as the dimensional formula for force, which is just like the last one, mlt power negative 2. Next, work. What should we do? You know that work equals force multiplied by displacement. We just said that the dimensional formula for force is mlt power negative 2. And you multiply this by displacement, which is L. So the final answer is ml squared t power negative 2. And work is measured in joules. Keep this in mind. How about potential energy? Potential energy, just like work, is also measured in joules. Therefore, it will have the same dimensional formula of m l squared t power negative 2. For the pros, you remember that potential energy equals m times g times h. And g is what? Is acceleration. And acceleration is what? It is velocity over time. So this is distance per time per time or displacement per time per time, which is length divided by t squared. So now the dimensional formula for the mass is uppercase M. And for the g, it is L t power negative 2, which is this value right here. Multiply this by h, which is a length. So therefore, when you multiply these together, this is what you get. Kinetic energy is also measured in joules, so it will have the same dimensional formula as work, which has the same dimensional formula as potential energy, which is again m 
L squared T power negative 2. And for the pros, remember that kinetic energy equals half times mass times velocity squared. The mass has a dimensional formula of uppercase M. Velocity squared. What is velocity? Velocity is displacement over time squared. So this equals M multiplied by L squared divided by T squared or M L squared T power negative 2 as the final answer, which is just like potential energy, which has the same dimensional formula as work. Next, how about pressure? Can you find the dimensional formula for pressure? Let me know your answer in the comments. And here is a quick review of everything that we have discussed today. Surface area is length times width. Volume is length times width times height. This is the equation. This is the measuring unit. This is the dimensional formula. Density is mass over volume. Speed is distance over time. Velocity is displacement over time. Acceleration is velocity over time. Momentum is mass times velocity. Force is mass times acceleration. Work is force times displacement and pressure is force divided by area. This is the measuring unit for each one of them. And this is the dimensional formula using the MLT method. So please let me know the dimensional formula for pressure in the comment section. Also, let me know the dimensional formula for universal gravitational constant, which is the uppercase G. Comment below if you know the answer. You can download my physics notes at medicosisperfectionalis.com. I have notes for physics, biology, biochemistry, organic chemistry, general chemistry, and more. Make sure to take a look at my other playlists as well. Help me make more videos by supporting my channel. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash medicosis. To learn about all the drama that takes place in your kidneys, proximal tubule, loop of Henle, distal tubule, collecting ducts, etc., Download my kidney physiology course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. It comes with videos, notes, and cases. There are more than 600 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo. Go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine, chemistry, math, and physics make perfect sense.